So, you know, yep. there is those artificial, yeah, there is those artificial intelligence dolls. Would you want to have a, a doll, a sex doll, one of the best sex doll ever? Slide, by the way, yeah? Sure. <laughs> okay, if we're in quarantine for like a month, then yeah, I would love a sex doll. You would love a sex doll? You would buy one? Well, yeah, if we're, I mean, if we're, if we're doing this for months, robots are going to start looking real good. I know. <laughs> but I would want the whole experience though. Like I really want like a real live man as a penis. To, oh. Yeah, the penis. <laughs> man, okay. that's okay. Okay, yes. you want a real okay. life man or a real life penis? Because it, Both. It, it, you can just have the penis by itself. The whole package. Because if you know, if I want like a fake penis, I'll just get a vibrator. That's fine. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I feel like it's different, like for guys and girls, right? Like typically, like you know, like I want the guy to be doing the majority of the work, which was all. I yes. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. 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 Okay, I need to understand Sorry. that. Sorry! <laughs> so you will be ready, because those dolls cost $20,000. They cost $20,000. They're equipped with artificial intelligence, so they know how to talk to you. They know how to please you. They know how to listen, which is really hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. So they know how to listen to you. Are you ready to buy one? Would you pay $20,000 to buy a doll? That's no. a woman. How much is a man? I'd say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it depends on who you're dating. If he doesn't have a job and you're supporting him, the $20,000 might be worth just spending on a doll who has only the right opinions. <laughs> That's kind of a joke, but also kind of, I, I think they're like 2000 bucks now. I feel like they're getting cheaper. There's some cheap I versions that, out yeah. there. There's the knockoff. I paid yeah. that. Knock off? I paid $2,000. Knock off. <laughs> I'll get a knock off, please, for $2,000. Yes. You'll get a knock off, a knock off doll for $2,000? <laughs> I think it's good. Here, you know? Here's my thing. Here's my thing with the knock off dolls. Like, we've all had, like, great dick. I don't mean like passable dick, good dick, like I have nothing to do on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> dick. I'm talking about great dick. Okay, so yeah. like, like, yeah. what are you going to get for 2000 Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. for a doll? <laughs> a female functioning <laughs> doll? Well, I mean, my <laughs> argument is if you can get a good dildo for 30 bucks on Amazon, okay. Ooh, what do you going to get for 2000 bucks? <laughs> Robin? Might be you need the robotics, okay. right? The artificial intelligence okay, on that for 10,000? I think it's going to be okay, garbage. How much are you, okay, how much are you willing yeah. to pay? How much are you willing to pay? For a dog? I would pay like 25 bucks. <laughs> 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 wow. I, my look, I was going to say that like, I look good usually after a couple of tequila shots, I look great. What is a tequila shot? Like four bucks on a Tuesday? So yeah, like, yeah. Not much. I don't spend much. <laughs> I'm not willing to pay 20,000 bucks for some fake dick. Like people should be paying for it. For us, like people should be absolutely. Like, I don't. I don't but, have to be but, my question is: This doll will be here for you. Will listen to you. It's an artificial intelligence doll, so the doll will know what you want, what you like, how you want to be. You know, so, they will take care of you emotionally and sexually. So, is this doll gonna get down on their on, their, on its knee? And slow down, like on, um, like is it like moving and stuff like that? Because for oh, the like, does it have a tongue action? Is that a pain? Do you have so, to pay for the tongue? Probably, like so that it's you know activated or something. Like I don't like I just I need the whole thing. So for men, they don't. They just need a hole. That's it, right? For women, it's yes. extra. So we need the dick, we need the tongue, like whatever. Like so, that's gonna be extra. I don't want to be paying extra because I'm a woman. I don't want to pay more, and I definitely don't want to pay twenty thousand bucks for. Well, I'm not fifty-five years old, waiting for. Okay, 
<laughs> so I, I was looking up the one that are the ones that are men for women, and they say things like, "There's no one else with an ass like yours. You're the hottest person ever, but you're also intelligent. You're also beautiful." They build you up mentally, and I think the ones for the men are just like, "I'm smiling, and I want to go down on you." Um, so I think they, they're taking into account that different people want different things. I don't think they're worth twenty thousand dollars, and I feel like they're for somebody who's just like, you know what? I've had enough real life situations, real people. I've had enough farting, hair, things I don't want to deal with. I just want to like get off and have somebody next to me in the bed, and that's it. I think it's for kind of lonely people, maybe. Yeah. No, maybe loneliness. Yeah, maybe for loneliness. Yeah. Then get a um, pillow, like get a pillow and a blow yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah. And a blow on blow. Oh my gosh. It's like it's such okay, a I'm curious we haven't heard about uh, Jana's opinion and Alina's opinion. They're pretty quiet. So, Jana, <laughs> would you buy a job? Uh, no, I would not. <laughs> 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 you will not I buy a dog who will pleasure you, listen to you, taking care of you, and it's, it's a doll, yeah, but it is well made. Well <laughs> 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 made to me is a beer gut. It's well made. Beer hair. <laughs> would you? You will not buy it, Jenna? Why is it more likely it's a woman? It's more fun to, you know, play around with. Not if it's a man, because, you know, I mean... <laughs> What's the question? But I'm what wondering, about like, the... the capacities that they have like we've talked about a spectrum going from two thousand dollars up to twenty thousand dollars with you know robotics and artificial intelligence so the ones that are catering to women that are male anatomy dolls do they have capabilities like can they thrust do they have that mechanic do they have a mechanical tongue or are they just like a limp silicone body with an erect penis no, I think they probably. No, I think they are made to please you, so they have the same function and then that a vibrator will do for you. Same yeah. thing that a vibrator, I think. Right. I think. And I think there's you also know, a little bit of the of of the kind of people that are reaching for emotional satisfaction as well, and in, in, in like when like we talked about being lonely and so on, and people that are, have tried build a relationship and failed or just kind of just don't want to bother and know that this is not something that you know they have to um satisfy the terms where the other person is there's this pressure with the doll there's no pressure really and no, i think no. No. oh i think that's what it is no matter what the doll uh, will like you no matter exactly. what you do the doll is going to say you're hot you're beautiful and right. all we want is acceptance uh, exactly. Exactly. Yes, I, exactly. What about you, Alina? Alina, you've been pretty quiet. I want to I hear know. your opinion. Uh, oh, maybe you can join. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, like, there's a reason why they've come further along in producing the female robots, right, than the male ones. There's a reason for that. As women, like, like I don't need a doll. Like, what, like... I'm strong. It's essentially like a talking vibrator, the way you're saying. Like, I don't need that. My ego does not need a doll to be telling me, like, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you have the best ass. Oh, like, I love you. <laughs> like, that's it. I mean, a doll. Like, it doesn't mean anything. Whereas I think guys, they like that would feed their, into their ego more. And like, I do definitely think it's more of like a loneliness thing. I watch one of those videos, like, and it's very prevalent in Japan where like a lot of uh, yeah. guys there have like these online girlfriends, whatever. Again, I think it's more of like a, like a loneliness type of thing. And I, I do think that like for, for men, yeah, maybe because 
as well. Like, unfortunately, just a lot of them, not, not all males, but a lot of them, like, they just don't, a lot of them can't, like, feel into their emotions as well as women can, and a lot of them are afraid yep. of emotions. So the doll is, like, you know, then they don't have to do that, right? It's, like, it, it almost, like, again, it feeds into that, part of them that fear that they have yeah, but at the same time they get really attached attached to the doll and they create oh. a whole personality and the whole like kind of like word it's it's uh almost a delusion yes so there's yeah. that two sides to it. i mean it's harder than that i think a lot of people have like that they're like oh women talk too much or women this and that da, 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 da. right so some some just want to be like just you know shut shut up and I, i'm I'm gonna, you know, use you or whatever. Probably because a lot, a lot of men that like to have the pressure, you know, to have an intelligent woman. You know, some men are very, it's hard for them to have a woman who has opinion. It's really hard. So for them to yeah. have a doll who will say, yes, thank you, thank you, yes, you're right, you're perfect. Yes, you're yes, perfect. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't I think what, a lot of people have abandonment issues and. Um, they're afraid, so they act insecure in regular relationships yeah. because they're afraid that person will reject them or leave right. them. And with a sex yeah. doll, there's no rejecting you Absolutely. and no leaving you. So okay, I think but I kind of see this being the future. That's let me just put comments on that, Trish and Jenna, from what you said. It's like I, I'm in a relationship now, but I was single for six years before meeting my partner. And um, I'm a person who's very comfortable being on her own. Strong, independent woman, no doubts about that. Um, and so for me, I'm trying to think of the things that I enjoy about intimacy with my partner. And I feel like that would be very difficult to match it with an artificial thing. Because it's not just about a vibrating penis. There's more to that that turns me on about being with my partner you know like somebody walking into my condo my actual unit and seeing me in lingerie and saying like damn baby you're so sexy like the doll's not gonna do that yeah uh, yeah if you program the doll to say that the doll needs to say, walk. Do they you walk? yeah and you uh, know what my biggest thing with dudes is that they don't tell me i'm pretty and you know what I'm a strong, independent woman. I've got this going on and this, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be told, hey, you're really pretty, or like some sort of like term of endearment. And men don't do that with me who I date, and I feel like it's disappointing. And I'm not saying I want to date a, a doll, but I do like <laughs> how they are programmed to tell you you're fucking pretty! You know you're beautiful. You know you're beautiful. I know I am, but I'd like to hear You're the prom queen. Look at you. You're the prom Look queen. Mm -hmm. But I can see how people no, like no. that they're it's programmed silent. to say that. I think it, if you are dating someone who does say that stuff, nothing beats that. Nothing. Yeah. 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 If you okay, date someone who shit has, you don't say that, then it's all beats that. But I have a question for you, girls. I have a question for you. We know that sometimes it's hard to have a man who really listens to you. It is hard. And you know, men are not built to listen sometimes. Would you, is it possible for you to have a doll just for the emotional connection? Not for the sex, but for the emotional connection. Would you do that? It could, it could, it could, it could. <laughs> but it's like, even if you, like, have you ever tried having a conversation with Siri or Alexa? Like, even though they're so advanced, but like, you can only go so far with that, man. Like, I know, that's but such a good point. <laughs> Great point. Yep. Did you try to have a conversation with Siri? <laughs> You're like, play the Beatles, and they're like, what? Marianne is French, and you're like, no, the Beatles, and they're like, what is that, Carrie Underwood? And you're like, shut up, I hate you. That's basically how it goes. Drive it. You know what? I feel like it's more popular for men. I feel like it's more popular for men yeah. than for women. And I feel like if I would be like 
85, 87 years old and, you know, I would have a disability and, you know, like I would be like not be able to see men. If I'm 85 years old, I'm, st I'm stuck in a room every day. Somebody's feeding me food. I think I'm going to buy a $20,000 20, doll, right? Because what else is there left for me to do? I don't know. You don't have a car payment to that point. Is that? <laughs> buy a car you might as well buy a doll you can't drive you're too old i'm just you know, if, you know if i have that money who knows where i'll be when i'm 87 88 years old but i much rather have the emotional connection i think that women need more that of that emotional connection that men men just yeah. to get more physical being they need to see you don't, you don't think a doll can give you that emotional connection i'm not sure but like when i'm 87 they probably will. <laughs> Have you heard about Florida and, and retirement homes that like they hump like bunnies? <laughs> oh, yeah, and they're bunnies. Like Apparently, that's what it's. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you know like what? If you're, if you're in a home, this is actually a great way to curb the population crisis and the STD crisis. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. Happening. I don't think anybody's getting pregnant, <laughs> so I think that's yeah. all by then. <laughs> maybe it'll be part of the rent. Do you want that option as part of the, you know, like maybe it'll be part of the option. Do you want a companion? Because older people need companionship. Like that's what they do. Like, can, yes. you, can you really get it up when you're 92 years old? I'm not Apparently, sure. Apparently, yes. <laughs> if you can get it up and you're 92 years old, please send us inboxes and inform us. <laughs> okay, I have another question. I have another question. What if you are dating someone, you are dating someone, and that man has a doll? Would you think he's cheating on you? No, I'm I am curious to hear your answers, girl. I would think it's weird. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, my doll. It's okay. I'm I'm a double standard. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd break so. up with the guy. I'd be like, that doll's waist is so small. Her boobs are so big. She says all the right things and she smiles. But it's nothing <laughs> like me. So clearly, you don't want to be with me. <laughs> so I think it, it could actually save relationships. Oh, I don't know. I think it could save relationships. You I think, think that? that we all have different likes and dislikes and not a single person can provide you 100% of your desires and fantasies. So if my partner were to have a doll to satisfy the parts of his sexual fantasies that I'm unwilling to satisfy him with, or maybe I'm not anatomically made to satisfy some of those parts, I think that that could potentially even be saving some relationships that are choosing to be monogamous. Instead of having people look outside of the relationship, they have you and they have their doll. That's that very interesting. Ego comes in, ego and um, I think a little bit of insecurity and, and we can't help us. Especially women, jealousy. We all know we're crazy bitches. So we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to be really open minded and comfortable. And, and I, I, in a sense, you're probably going to seek some kind of satisfaction elsewhere. To, to not, in a sense, revenge, but not revenge because it's, I, I, in my opinion, it's like you have to be so comfortable not to care. Because if, when, you, yeah. we, when we love a man, we love a man. So it's. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I or I guess like sure. if you're yeah. not comfortable with um, like a non-monogamous relationship, I guess like that would be an option, right? Like, yeah. No, of course. Like if you're yeah. playing around, whoever is whatever. So for you, if a man has a doll while he's dating you, is not cheating. Wait, 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 wait a second though, because if I have a boyfriend, if we're yeah. official and yeah, I have official. a boyfriend. Don't yeah. go fuck a doll. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, not a difference it. between his doll and masturbation. What is the difference? If you know that this doll is not a human person, it's an artificial intelligence, it's made of silicone, what is the difference between that using a fleshlight masturbation? What's the difference? Well, if, you're, well, if you I know agree. that it's not the same. Well, I agree on that. On someone else, and that's the point. When you're just masturbating, you're focusing on yourself in a quick fix. 
that's okay. But when, when it comes to a uh, adult, whether it's real or not, it becomes where it's someone focusing on an indifferent existence than you. Okay, but what about, right. sex, like, what about like sex toys for men? Do you think that that's focusing on someone yeah, else? The sex toy doesn't shooting? have boobs, the sex toy doesn't uh, have uh, yeah. space, the sex toy right. doesn't have you know you what? Know, uh, artificial intelligence, you know? I don't know. I for do, me, I feel I, like it. I do agree I that I think you just need to, the communication with any relationship is key and it sounds cliche and cheesy, but if you line that up with someone and you say you're at the point, things are kind of stale and you're like, get a sex doll, do whatever you want with this doll rather than go somewhere else. I think it's just about yeah. having that conversation. And then I think it, yeah. I'd be less jealous about that than them. You're right. Janet yeah. going out with yeah. someone else, or um, uh, else than going out with someone else. Yeah. And when yeah. you set it up, yeah. kind of yeah. as advanced, like you said, a conversation. When you you kind of have a, an understanding where what what your comfort zones are. There there are people that are going to sex clubs and going to uh, where you know there's the what do you call them. Um, when you exchange partners, what do you call that? Swingers, swingers clubs. Like yeah. swingers? Yeah. Swingers clubs, so there's, yeah. There's clubs, there's all kinds of things. And then there's like there's partners that are completely comfortable with that. So and they, and they had obviously they, they kind of whether it was natural that they went into those clubs or whether they discussed it. So I guess in a sense that's the same thing goes with the dolls. Where, but it is unusual. You have to agree; it's an unusual thing. So when yeah. the partner totally, each other, yeah. So so when the partner but from a safety perspective as well, like your doll's not giving you an STI. If if <laughs> like you had a side chick, <laughs> you could get her pregnant. <laughs> you could get an STI. Like there's a safety no, of from not, that but, as well. But it's about fantasies and extremes. I think it's about fantasies and extremes. There's a lot of people that are just like uh, are playing and comfortable with the the traditional relationships. So everything else is out of the ordinary, right? So if they yeah, yeah. just find each other, then that's not yeah. completely comfortable for them. Mm -hmm. So it is about your comfort zone, in a sense. Exactly. It comes down to yeah. that. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it would be healthy if you had the doll like in a closet and you're both <laughs> into that and you're like in the kinky moment, let's bring it out and embrace it together. Yeah. You will do a threesome. You will do a threesome with a dog. Your boyfriend, it's, a dog. It's would, would you safer. Do that I feel like oh, every guy. Okay. Second. I feel it's like every crazy. person I. Oh, every person That's I dated has been like, well, I've always wanted to have a threesome, and right. I feel like with a doll, it is definitely safer. But there's that you risk that like, let's keep this doll so we can do this thing. But then you risk that them being embarrassed, them being awkward. Yeah. They're like, it's a doll, babe. And they get like that performance <laughs> shy thing. And then you also risk them getting like obsessed with it. And when you're at work, them going crazy <laughs> on the doll. And then uh, forget yeah. about <laughs> the Like what if then the focus and the obsession <laughs> goes in? Oh, and yeah. then that's less attention on you. Like... Yeah. And if I but it's a doll. committed to a guy and he is comparing me to the doll, like what if I came home and he's like, well, Sarah doesn't talk back to me and Sarah brings me coffee and Sarah doesn't mind if I pass gas. I would be like, fuck you, Sarah, you little bitch. What would you do to the doll? You want to tell me that? And I wouldn't do that to a real person, so maybe a real person is better. <laughs> okay, another question. Yeah. Another question. Okay, if because I know some of you doesn't want to have a doll, but if you were ready to have a doll, what actor your act, your doll will look like? Which okay. actor, I should say. I'm losing my English. <laughs> Which actor the doll will look like? For me, I know it's Jason Momoa or Bon Jovi. We all know oh. that. Okay. <laughs> bon Jovi, bon Jovi, no. Bon Jovi. No, Bon Jovi in the 90s. Okay, not now, obviously. His hair is too bon hairspray. I can't compete with people for hairspray. I want my no, own no, no, hairspray. No. I'm telling you, like, at the time where there was less hair and it was more manly, less feminine, like probably uh, the end of the 90s. And oh, like John Stamos. 
Oh, yeah. 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 That's a good one. What about you, girls? What about you? I'm curious. All of you, I want to hear it. Hi, I should have said that. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy? Tom Hardy? Yes. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. A Tom Hardy doll, right? That would be great. <laughs> Family, like, but sexy, rough, like, I don't know. Yeah. But I also that like, would work. I don't know. <laughs> that would work. And what about you? That would work. I can, uh, yeah. What about the other girls? I think Jason Momoa was a really good oh, one. No. Um, yeah, I would probably I say think Jason Momoa was the <laughs> most popular one. Yeah. <laughs> like perfect. Or he's so perfect. big and burly. <laughs> what is well, it? But I, I would probably say for me, um, I don't know if you know the singer Maluma. He's oh, uh, no. <laughs> I think he's he's either Puerto Rican or he's from Colombia. He's Colombian. Okay, he's oh. Colombian. Yeah, because I like. I need to check him out. That is mm -hmm. good. <laughs> there are also some people I want to say, but I feel like they're in our circle of like. Okay. So I feel like it's very inappropriate. Oh shit! Oh, go ahead, say it, say it. Just be inappropriate. Oh on. no, I'm not gonna say it. I can't. Wow. That's wow. Okay, just say it. There are some very <laughs> hot <laughs> Canadian <laughs> actors. There are some okay, very hot Canadian actors. I'm not gonna say. Okay. I'm not gonna be the one to say. Like, but who's I'm not saying if you're not? Like you're not saying. Say disqualified from this question. We can't read your like, mind, Trish. No, Trish, you gotta spill the beans, you know? <laughs> yeah. talk about it. Like, let's forget about Hollywood. Let's think more local. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, Canadian actors. Oh, you know what? Go ahead. Happen. There are so many hot Canadian actors. There are. Like I don't Colin Mockery? <laughs> yes, exactly. No. Colin Mockery, you said. No. no. You no. know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. You know Kim Convenience? You yes. know which one. Bimu. The one who's gonna be a Marvel Andrew? superhero. Bimu. Bimu. See yes. Andrew. Yes, please Andrew? bring me a drama like him. <laughs> I'm gonna show him how to be a superhero. You know what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I dolls would be American dolls. Um, I would have two dolls. If anything, if I had yes. like celebrity crushes, like I had two celebrity crushes. One of them would be Pete Davidson, and the other one would be Christian Keys. So I can, you know, like switch it up. White, so, black, white, <laughs> right? Exactly. For me, it would be Idris Elba. Alba. You know, Idris Elba. I cannot pronounce this name. <laughs> I agree. I agree, Sabine. I'll just have Alba is mm -mm. fine. He's, he's, he's looking great. Yeah. Yeah, but so yeah, what if good. that becomes a thing? So what if mocking, because if I were a celebrity, which I'm very far from, but someone created a doll like me, I would be oh. extremely creeped out because celebrities are people. So what if we get no, 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 into... No, 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 don't get if you're getting a commission on it. Just make sure you get those royalties. Royalties? No, but like, you know, oh, no. So money. Yes, the okay, money. Money. The like, money. What if, what if you were someone like the people we've listed, like, okay, so Simu's hot, or Idris Elba's hot, or Jason Manoa, and now we make it all of them. Yeah. Would you not be extremely creeped out to be that person, or would you bank on it? That is a good question. Yeah, that's a question. Mm. Yeah, are they going to make celebrities? I'm just that's thinking, what like, what if the genitalia looks exactly like you? Like, what if Ooh. there's, like, a Trish doll, and you stumble <laughs> upon it, and you see it, and you're like, that's holy shit, shit, that's what I look like. I don't think <laughs> anybody yeah. wants the Trish doll. She's 35. She's got extremely large you know what, Trish? a really small you know what, waist, and a little white girl so butt. I'm a mom. She <laughs> wants a doll of you. You know I know that. There is one fan out there that might want a Trish yes. doll. One person. Yes. One person will buy my doll I for twenty nine dollars I know, I know someone would pay for that. <laughs> PayPal me. Please, yes. PayPal me. Install me. Exactly. Installment payments. <laughs> Does that I'm like, I am ready. She 
<laughs> but I feel like it might, be, it might be. It might be. There might be a market. There might be a way to make money. But then, if people are selling sex dolls of themselves because we're all in self isolation, are they basically prostitutes? Or is it not prostitution? Because it's a doll version know. of you. I don't mind. For me, I don't think you can use the term prostitute something. anymore. I think it's female entrepreneur. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You are a you know, self-employed contractor. <laughs> no, Sorry. You are a self-employed contractor. I use the wrong term. I'm very anxious. <laughs> but please inform me. Is it yeah, but on self entrepreneurship if you sell a repl replica of your body? I'm drinking wine. I need to shut up. <laughs> oh, I have way too much wine, but I'm just saying for the right amount, I am ready to have a doll made of me. You know, if someone pays you a million dollars, would you do it? Really, you don't even have to meet the person who will buy your doll. You just have to do the doll. So well, I'm trying. I'm ready for it. <laughs> a million dollars. A million dollars. Would you do it? I would do it for less. But 100%. Okay. 100%. 100 percent. Hundred percent for twenty-five dollars. Don't hold me to that. This is not a contract. <laughs> for a million dollars, I'm sure all of you will do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah. But the. Right now, we all not working because of that. Yeah. You know, a million dollars will be welcome right now. Mm -hmm. That's realistic. We we'll all do it for way less. <laughs> <laughs> so Alina, now the Alina, question is: exactly. because the world has shut down, and because we're all terrified for our lives, are we willing to give up all of our morals or standards and just? Do what we have to do to survive. Okay, well, you're making the dollars. assumption that we have morals and standards to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's throw oh, that up as more. Okay, okay. I someone that is do nudity on set. This conversation. So, like, I bear it all for money. <laughs> Literally, that's what I do, right? But I'm an actor, but there's there, a lot of there, nudity. But on set, that can be very good pay, and there are intimacy coordinators through the union, so it's very well. Intimacy coordinator is a new thing. But I'm also French. Like we're we're a lot of French women on this chat. Like we yes, love French to be here. French Canadian. Like you need to force us to put clothes on. <laughs> we love no, to be naked. No. Yeah, we do. We do love to be naked. And me, you know me. Everybody knows me knows that my best asset is here. So I don't <laughs> mind showing. <laughs> you know, you know, I look good and I'm beautiful. So being your best baby. asset is your brain. You're a very intelligent woman. I know. I appreciate and that. And you it's also true. have amazing cheekbones. <laughs> and, yes, I know. But my boobs are good too. We gotta say it. We gotta Your say boobs it. are very beautiful. I must admit. <laughs> amazing. I'm <Yes>. beautiful. <laughs> I think I had way too much wine. But there's some I think we all fun. have. Who yes. hasn't? No. Yeah. I know. I but Alina, I'm you've been the so here. quiet. <laughs> Alina, Alina, you've been so quiet. I mean, what do you that want me to say? <laughs> I want to know, would you do a threesome with a doll? Oh my God. I, know you didn't, I know you didn't answer. Um, oh my God, that's just so weird to me. Um, <laughs> honestly, like, I might if I really loved the person and we were, like, you know, we had, like, a serious relationship and if that's something that they really wanted to do, then... Yeah, I would probably do it. Just nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just so like funny. my idea is so foreign. So, Alina, you're, you're saying that you're open <laughs> to the idea of having fun with a doll if your partner was also open to having fun with a doll. Yeah, I think if it's, if it's something that he really wanted to do, then, yeah. I know, that makes sense. I'd be like, Bitch, get the hot hell out of my house. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait. What is so do we have any do we have any um LGBTQ right. relationships here? Is everyone in a straight relationship? Does anyone want to divulge that? Um I'm no. currently in a heterosexual relationship. I love dick. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. <laughs> I suck in that and I suck on that. I love dick. <laughs> what? Wait a second, though. Like, if the like, I'm I'm gonna hit. A, I'm not in any kind of relationship. I'm straight. But like, if the guy wanted to fulfill his fantasy and he was like, "Hey, I want to bring a doll. Like, it'd be cool." I'd be like, "Yeah, one hundred percent." And then we'll fulfill my fantasy, which is with a real live man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like everything you want, babes. We'll do you and then we'll do me. <laughs> I mean it has to work both ways, right? Okay, but like let's let's talk about that. Because we were saying how, you know, and anatomically speaking, these dolls and they've progressed more for the women development because it's easier, you know. I think I think it might have yeah. been Jana who said, like, all you need is a hole. Yeah, I and said so, that. it's a hole. Okay, you said that. Well, like, <laughs> but like, wait, I said that before, but not on this one. What would the doll <laughs> need to have in order for you to feel like this was a benefit to you? It wouldn't be. I'd rather have the human being in front of my eyes than a freaking doll. Like I need the <laughs> Okay, so let's say you're part of a focus group for one of these companies that's developing these sex dolls. Okay. What would you have to tell them in order for them to market a product that is a male doll for women and you think it would be a selling point? Like what would you tell them? Because that's the big thing that I was saying early in the conversation. Yeah. Thinking about what arouses me and what turns me on about the times that I have with my partner, like intimate moments. I don't see how any of those particular moments or things or incidences could be replicated by a doll. Oh, so so I think it would be uh, age range. If you, sorry, um, I'll be quick. If you look at an age range, and it depends on the woman that is trying to obtain that kind of satisfaction, where she you can, she cannot get attention. We all know you. We are you are all beautiful ladies. It's easy to get attention. It's what you do with it, right? It's how you handle yeah. it, right? So what it is. There are plenty of men that approach you, and you know that for a fact. You're all beautiful young women. And and then the time when it comes where somebody that's just like kind of private or busy or whatever it is, that they don't get that attention. And that's when it comes, the dolls come in hand where right. you know, they, they kind of reach and see. So, Jenna, that. you're saying that the thing that you tell this focus group for this company is that you need to have the doll be a good companion. Yes. So it wouldn't yeah. necessarily so I'm, be about the anatomy of the doll. It would be more about the artificial intelligence with the personality of the doll. 